Okay, as we move into the next couple of videos, we're gonna begin the process of actually setting up WordPress and building out a website. But there are two distinct ways to do this, and I wanna take a moment here to help you identify which method is right for you. This is important because it determines what actions you're going to take and what actions you're going to skip during the setup process. So as we mentioned, if you want to build a live website that people can actually visit, you're going to need to sign up for web hosting. So of course, we will cover exactly what that process looks like, but I understand that not everyone is taking this course with the goal of building a specific website right away. For example, maybe you're just trying to get familiar with WordPress and develop your skills for future projects, in which case you may not find it necessary to purchase a web hosting plan and publish a website that's essentially just a testing ground, right? If that's you, I'm gonna show you a way to install WordPress and create a website locally, meaning on your own computer, so you can get some experience with WordPress without having to purchase web hosting or a domain name, but that comes with the caveat that whatever you build will not be accessible on the web. So again, you have two options here, installing WordPress on a web host or installing WordPress locally on your own computer. I don't want to overcomplicate this decision because it is quite simple. If you want to use this course to create a live website that people can actually visit, you'll want to follow the steps to install WordPress on a web host. This is what I recommend for the vast majority of people, because at the end, you're going to have an actual website that you can share and point people to. On the other hand, if you're not ready to publish a live website and you're just trying to learn the ins and outs of WordPress without investing any money just yet, you'll wanna follow the process to install WordPress locally. And essentially what that looks like is, I'm gonna have you install an application on your computer that sort of simulates the environment of a web host. That way you can install WordPress and you'll be working with the same version of WordPress as everyone else. The only difference is the website you build will be isolated to your own computer. It won't have a domain name and it won't be connected to the public internet. Both of these options are fairly quick and straightforward. I'm gonna cover them both, but you only need to follow the steps for one of these two options. So those who wanna build a live website should follow the web hosting process, and those who just wanna experiment with WordPress on their own computer should follow the local install process. Once we're done with the setup process, everyone should be on the same page for the rest of the course because WordPress itself is going to look the same regardless of whether you install it locally or on a web host. I hope that makes sense. Please don't be intimidated if you're a beginner. Like I said, we're going to walk through every step of this process together. I just wanted to stop and explain this sort of fork in the road because you do need to choose one of these two options before we move forward. So go ahead and make that decision. Are you gonna install WordPress on a web host, which is what I recommend for most people, or are you going to install WordPress locally? You only need to do one of these two things. So make that decision and then you'll be ready to dive in.